The following group of photos were captured at Pythian Castle over the course of several years. Most of these are guest photos, with a few of them being captured by PTF members. All of these first grouping of photos were captured in the theater on the second floor. Pythian Castle has four tour guides. You'll notice that in many of these pictures, Todd is giving the presentation on stage. There seems to be a connection between guests taking these photos while Todd is giving the presentation and the activity. Whatever it is seems to react to him. A guest captured these following two photos back to back while they were photographing Todd on stage. You'll notice in the first photograph there appears to be a figure standing in front of him that is very blurry like a person in motion. In the second photograph you'll notice that this figure is broken down and is far less visible and it has moved further off to the right. Like whatever this figure is, it's dissipating as it's moving to the right. I will now show the two photographs back to back. You will notice the figure standing in front of Todd is now moved to the right and you can tell from the time between the first and this following photograph the distance it has traversed. The following photograph was also taken by a guest. It was taken on a different night for a different event while Todd was giving a tour. He's also on the stage. You'll notice a human-like figure standing in the background on the left-hand side. All of the guests are seated, but this individual appears to be standing. This is not a guest or even a human. This is some unknown apparitional figure that can be seen. The facial features on this figure are extremely detailed. You'll notice a prominent brow ridge above the eyes. The mouth can clearly be seen. The nose appears to be slightly obstructed for some reason. The following photograph I captured myself also while in this theater on a different night's event. You'll notice that there is a black figure standing just to the left of the man in the aisleway wearing a pinstripe suit. You'll notice several photographic anomalies. The first is the legs of this figure appear to still be in front of the man in the pinstripe suit, but the torso appears to have passed him and it's partially obstructing the lines in his suit as if it has passed through him partially. Other points of detail worth noting are this shadow figure appears to be far shorter than the man in the suit. You'll also notice he's completely headless. There's no sign of where his head is. You can see where a collar would be located, but there is no head above it. This photo was captured in the downstairs kitchen area. You'll notice a pattern with several of the following photographs. It appears that some of these figures are dressed either for a ballroom party or a costume party of some sort, and that this seems to repeat over and over in different parts of the castle. I will apply a zoom to this photo so that you can examine the area behind the man's head who's looking to the left. This looks like some sort of metallic-like face mask looking in profile to the left. You'll notice prominent facial features in this mask. A large black socket where the eye should be located with an eyebrow ridge above it. A long nose, a tiny slit for where the mouth is located, and prominent cheekbones on this mask. Above this mask, it looks like this figure is wearing a hat. It looks something like a black pirate's hat. It also appears to have some sort of emblem or medallion in the center of this hat. After receiving this photograph, I asked the tour guides to take a picture from the same location to see if there was anything along that back wall that might have accounted for this photograph. They sent me the following two photographs. As you can see, there is no object on that back wall that could account for whatever is creating this image of a face mask. The following photographs were captured in the boys' dormitory. The strange green light is not anything paranormal. It's simply light coming in through the windows. You can even see the individual window panes patterned in the green light. In the following photograph, you can see a strange figure standing in front of the giant children's building blocks. It's partially transparent, and it's highly distorted. If you look at the giant letter U on the one building block and just to its right, you can see a human face looking toward the right. It has an extremely large nose, dark eye with an eyebrow above it, and it has almost no forehead. 
The body beneath it is just a dark, translucent mass. The face in some ways looks similar to the one taken down in the kitchen. It's a very distorted human face. It almost looks like a face mask or a party mask that someone would wear to a party or a costume or Halloween party. This is the same photograph as before. Normally I dismiss all of these things as just coincidence, but if you look inside the black boxes, you can see human-like faces looking back at you. This could just be a Rorschach effect, where it just is a trick of light, and also the highly modeled pattern of the limestone walls could be causing tricks of light to bounce off the camera lens, causing distortions that just happen to look like people's faces. This could just be a coincidence, but I just noted it as a point of interest. This photograph was taken at a later date. You'll notice Todd is conducting this tour. This is a guest photo that was taken. On the right hand side you will notice suspended in mid-air is a young girl's party dress hovering in mid-air in front of one of the guests. There are no arms, legs, or head above the opening of where the person's head and neck would protrude from the top of the dress. There is no human figure of any sort. It's just a party dress suspended in mid-air that was captured on camera. This photograph was captured in the basement by KD conducting an experiment. He is one of our group members. You'll notice that there is a strange green light. That is part of his experiment and that is not paranormal. What's unexplained is the humanoid figure leaning in from the right hand side. There was no one in front of his camera when he took this picture. The next photograph was captured outside by one of the guests. They had taken a picture of the front of the castle. If you look at the second floor windows, and in this image I have a red line underneath the window as the point of interest of the one that I want you to focus in on, there are two figures standing on the other side of that window pane in the row of glass above the lower portion of the glass. These two faces can't be accounted for by any people because no one is on this floor at this time. I also included another photograph with nothing in it to AB compare to the first one with the two faces. As you can see there is nothing in those upper panes of glass causing facial distortions. This photograph is taken from the approximate same position as the first photograph. This final photograph was captured by a guest. They were standing in the parlor room in front of the queen's bedroom, photographing into the hallway where you can see the theater in the background. This photo I'm not able to authenticate for various reasons. When it was taken, there were no PTF members around, and there were no members of the castle tours who were present who can account for this photo or when it was taken. The person who snapped this photo we're uncertain of and we're trying to communicate back with them to get more information about this photo. The photo was taken with a cell phone, and when I examined the details of the photo, many key things such as the shutter speed, ISO, and other things are all omitted in the camera file details. So I can't try and authenticate any of the aspects of this photograph because I don't have any of the information encoded inside the photo itself. Another reason I can't authenticate this photo is as I don't know the identity of any of the people who appear in this photograph. You'll see in the zoom there are actually three individuals standing in that hallway. There is a woman wearing a black dress clutching a purse in her hands up toward her chest. It looks like she may be wearing a necklace, possibly a string of pearls. She's wearing black gloves, which is a very unusual look. It's almost as if she's dressed for a party or some sort of event, but none of the people in our PTF group or from the castle are aware of this woman or the person standing behind her. You'll notice that stooped over is a giant figure standing behind her. If this person had been standing up, they would have been immensely tall. We would have thought we would have remembered seeing someone this tall at one of our events, but nobody has any recollection and have been unable to retrieve any photos of this person attending one of our events. It's possible that this person was on one of the regular castle tours that are conducted by one of the four 
tour guides. However, they said that they usually don't open up the parlor room and the Queen's Suite during the normal walking tours. And this is clearly photographed from inside the parlor room. This giant figure standing behind her also looks to be clad in black and is looking to the side. It's very difficult to judge facial features, but it almost looks like whoever this individual is, he's wearing a mask of some kind, like a party mask. The giant figure standing behind the woman is the one we're most interested in. The woman may be an actual person, a guest on one of the tours, but we can't document it and we haven't been able to identify what event she attended to take this photograph. That is another problem with the photo is, is that we don't have an exact date from when it was taken so that we can do some cross-referencing. If this photograph is a hoax, the person who did it went to extreme detail Normally, people who do things like this don't add things like what is at the woman's feet. If you look very carefully, you'll see that there is a cat walking between her legs. Its tail is on the right-hand side, and its head is on the back side of her leg, looking back toward the camera. I checked with the castle owner and had them send me a photograph of the two cats that live in the castle. This photograph does not match the owner's cats. As you can see, the coloring is all wrong. One of the big questions that remains unanswered is, is the person who sent in the photograph did so because of the giant figure standing behind the woman. But what we're uncertain of is, is whether they saw the woman themselves when they took this picture. Are they part of their group tour? Or are they a relative or friend who they went to the castle with? This is something we're not certain of. So we don't know if all three of these figures are unaccountable or if it's just the cat and the giant figure standing behind the woman that are the figures that can't be accounted for.